Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And, in this episode, um, I'll be doing something I didn't exactly plan to do. I don't know how I survived that. Well, pretty simple um, armor, but how did I land in the water? I don't know. But, yes, last episode I said I'll work either on the tunnel or on the, uh, in the ender, which I haven't even started yet. But... I came up with a much more fun project, which, well, it's more fun for me. Um, um, I would like to build a man-made river. And the best place for it, well, let's go see the map first. Um, so right over here, we can, we can look on the map. Um, so we've got these two massive bodies of water, and they are disconnected, obviously. And right in this corner, where my cursor is, or pointer is where the secret project is or well not secret but the impossible project of collecting every item in the game right there um, and we are right here and this is our base um, and I want to collect connect this body of water to this body of water and the best way to do it is connecting it to over here and obviously to over here but I have my sheep farm right there so that's going to give us a bit of trouble, but we can make this a tunnel underneath using water. And I think that will be just awesome. Um, I haven't updated this map in a long time. Um, we've got the cactus farm now, which is pretty much done actually. I just need to finish up with um, a few things on it. I just need to make a prop building end. In We are playing in the... 1.12 pre-1 um, and my world has a lot of trouble loading right now but yeah this is producing more than enough cactus and you may have noticed I switched my clouds on again for like the first time in forever um, yeah this just needs a little bit more um, what's it called concrete and then lots, some kind of building for it but we're not here for that today um, yes yeah, so as I said we're gonna build a massive tunnel it is gonna be called the great underground works because um, I had nothing but to come up with with for it and it's gonna go right over here um, I can't push any closer to this because the sheep farm is right here and actually it, it, it's got, it goes extremely close to the sheep farm but because it's a river it's gonna be a bit wendy, bendy like a touch even though it's on the ground and I might need to get a new supply of TNT but yeah this is the sheep farm right here um, this is the red, these are the red sheeps right there, and I was thinking of just putting like windows there. So, we're gonna, the, the water's gonna be at this level. Um, so, I think this will work. Um, so, I need to obviously dig out the tunnel first, which shouldn't be too far. I have, this is the left side of the tunnel, by the way. Um, so, where, when it comes out, this is gonna be the left side of the tunnel. I just got just under 80 blocks to go, I think. Um, so it's not too far, like maximum 100 blocks, um, so I think this project is quite doable, maybe in this one episode, if not then I'll just polish it up off camera, there shouldn't be too much left to do, and my TNT supply is all out so I'm going to have to dig most of it out at least by hand, but TNT would be a lot better because then I'll be able to like, kind of like randomize the shape a bit more if you know what I mean but I think making it a, a bit more roundish is, isn't that bad either um, in the new snapshots they added some new advancements um, so got a few done on this um, need to do a whole bunch of things on the end one um, I, I don't know what this means by the way if, if someone knows please tell me what that is they got this one added um, so a whole bunch of things, um, and nothing really here. So yes, pretty cool I'd say. Um, got new, a bunch of new things, and hopefully the 1.12 is going to come out quite soon because um, then I'll be able to download up to fine. Because so far my world has been a bit laggy. Like it's at 30 FPS right now. That's because my frames are locked whilst recording. Um, but when I'm not recording, it's like jumping between 26 and um, 36 on average so that's not very nice really um, 
So, yes. And we're here. So this is the left side of the tunnel, as I said. Um, it's gonna probably come out like this. It's not too long, but like it's nice. It's nice to have this, and like as I said a long time ago, I wanted to connect all of my stuff together um, using something like water, um, like boats. Like I love boats for some reason, if, even if I don't use them anymore. Um, still nice to have. Way overshot that. Ouch. But yes, I'll do something, and then. Um, I'll show you a few other things I've done off camera real quick So going over here Nothing really has changed here, but I've added a new feature This is for water and you need to double click this Currently, so it makes all of these one hit kills. I think yeah So this gonna Sometimes it's a two hit though so that's a small problem. I think that's if they fall from the first layer. But it's one hit kill with a sword. And this is pretty much filled up actually. Still very little gunpowder. Quite a lot of arrows. Ooh, I thought he was wearing gold not golden, diamond armor. Um but I remembered that's just the default thing. Um So yes, I'm gonna switch this off so it's back to automatic killing. I might I might put um an arsenal latch there or whatever it is I don't remember my redstone stuff very well and also I've got nine golem here because it's an advancement <laughs> for some reason um, yeah I'll I'll probably add that later so that's so that's um if I flick it on actually no it's a T flip flop if, so if I flick it on it's gonna be on if I flick it off it's gonna be off rather than having to double flick it because um, that can be quite annoying um, and yes, I'll get back to work. Hmm. So I got a bit dug out here, and I realised I dug too much this way. I I was supposed to dig all the way here, but um, I think once I actually come around to finishing this off, it's gonna be fine to have like a one or two block ledge here, and then have the windows facing in um, here. I guess they're obviously gonna be the same colour as the sheep pens. And what I was planning, um, like, like what what my dream here vision here is, um, is having. Mm, I fall. These boats are so stupid now. Like, I thought they made them like, as if you were still playing like an old old version of Minecraft. But no, you used to be able to stand on them without dying. Um, so the idea was to like kind of have like water dripping here, like um, waterfalls going in and then towards the middle turn it into lava and then have it water transition to water again and that was kind of the idea but um, this might be a little too short for it because the lava would have to start around about here and then end around about here if I want to make it work so around here and it might just not be long enough for like a good enough effect but we'll try we'll try um yeah i've got a bit more to dig here um i dug a bunch of that by running to to and fro from the beacon uh, effect because it's literally just outside of here and that annoys me every time because i never reach it um but yeah nearly there so yes whilst i'm still thinking about this so oh there's a tallfish block Oh, there's more. Um, what I was thinking of here um, is I'll make this straight and then I'll bend it a bit um, when I actually come to making it look realistic. Because um, obviously it's not going to be completely straight. Or I can make it look futuristic. Um, sort of like have this like a pipeline and have it like circular. I'm not sure how I would do that. Um, I think it would be easier for me personally to make it um, the the way I was planning to, rather than futuristic. But futuristic is just an easier option in general. I think. 
but I'm going to do it the way I was planning to. Um, yeah, I, I'm rambling on here. Mm-hmm. Looks pretty good to me. I had to bend this a little bit. Um, just some planning for the future. And got quite a bit of cobble from just doing that. Um, but I'm still going to do a bunch more. Um, it was all this, all this, and you may be asking why I'm using this pick rather than the Silk Touch one. Um, it's because I have very little cobble in my world, um, and I just want to have some because every time I need cobble for something, I'm all out, so I have nothing to do. Um, and this is very useful, like I have a whole shulker box here. Um, that's my building materials for the cactus farm. Okay, um, but yeah, you get the point. Um, but once I get like two or three more shulker boxes I uh, will use by normal pick again because sometimes I accidentally break my end chest with the non silk touch pick and I have to get an eye vendor to repair it um, it's just a bit annoying sometimes yes got this all dug out um, only took um, I move my mouse um, only took about half an hour to 40 minutes I don't know I wasn't really counting um, but yes Hmm, there's something wrong with the water there, okay, uh, in there, um, pretty long, and something wrong here, well, there's a cave here, oh, it's not lit up, I bet you there's gonna be lots of mob, lots of mobs here, that should have been spawning in my mob system, oh my god, I do not like the later snapshots, they are so bad, all right, well, fixed that pretty easily. Um, should have just increased this warning rates by about one percent there, which is good, good stuff. Um, and yeah, I think we, we're ready to cover this up then. Maybe doesn't matter. Um, let me go up. Ah, yes. All right, um, well, we've now got to A, dig this a little bit, make it look nice, and also dig it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dig like a line, sort of, and then let me re, re get, regain the effects. All right, so what I'm gonna do is dig like a line of where I want the deepest bit to be, and then I'll go from there. So, uh, something like this. Oh my god, this is so much better. Uh, maybe not quite there. Um, have it bend a little. Alright. And you get the point. Oh god, I ran into a whole bunch of silverfish here. There's like loads of blocks here that's just all silverfish blocks. Ah, there's another one. Oh, there's more. Wow. Silverfish in the mountains. Okay, I knew there is silverfish in the mountains, but I didn't think they were that aggressive. So, this is technically like where I want the middle of the river to be, pretty much. Um, I guess you could say so. Yeah, I like it right here. I want around here to be the middle. Yeah, and we do not want to flood it yet. Alright, so now I've got to basically dig around this, fill in a few places, um, make it look nicer, make it look more natural rather than um, a little derpy me sort of build. Um, I swear I saw creeper right here. So I didn't even see things. Ooh, I just had a crash. Um, I think I tried to make some polished andesite and that crashed me. Um, so I'm just back to here where I updated the light thing. So nothing too bad, let's see if anything got corrupted. Um, because something probably did. Um, hopefully nothing though. But if something did, then I should stop playing on this world right now and just go to your backup, which I did right before the episode actually. That's, that's pretty good. 
So let's have a quick look around, see if anything's corrupt. No, it looks fine. I think they fixed the problem a long time ago about corruption, but um, you know, just just be on the safe side. The world's not loading in, but just that's just a snapshot. Um, all right, the world's really not loading in now. All right, you can see a lot of stuff underground there. That's pretty cool. Um, but it would be even cooler if the world could load. Um, that might be because of corruption, actually. Um, or maybe I should just stop recording. I pressed the button and, and most of it like loads in. Most of it though. But that's fine. Um, we loaded basically everything we need. Um, let's just see how much iron we have. Not much, okay. I was thinking of using a, a bunch of iron bars here and there for the project. Challenge, can you take off from water? I know I can, but I can't do it on one. When it's that shallow. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah. Alright, so. Back to work, I guess. Oh boy, I just had another crash. Um, it seems like every time I try to craft something, I crash, because I just tried to craft some torches. And I crashed, so. Um, oh, nearly made that out of there. With the world still loading in, um, yeah, my home is over here. Let's come in. Let's get this wooden sticks. Let's craft some torches, and let's see if we crash again. I can't make the other stuff rhyme. Okay, but yep. All right. Well, I think I'm going to have to end here because I need to craft a whole bunch of things, and I can't because I keep crashing every time I do. So, yes, um, this episode is a bit short, sorry about that, um, I'll work off camera once they fix all the crashing this, um, cause that was a lot of crashing, um, so yes, let's kill ourselves, I guess, and I can't actually do it, it's a power 5 bow, come on. Ah, oh, I'm regenning. That's why. And they still haven't fixed the damaging stuff. Damage sound. Unless that was just me. Um when I got the texture pack with the mind tweak stuff. Never mind. Um I can't craft anything. So let's let's end it off with another crash. What should we do? Um this will crash. Yep. <laughs>